Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the BD-5 um, jet that I modeled here. Okay, this, uh, let's see, about a couple of months ago, one of my friends came to me and asked would I model a BD-5 for him because he wanted to make a, an actual flying model um, of this BD-5. He asked would I model it for him and then through, go ahead and 3D print a, uh, the BD-5 for him. So I went ahead and 3D printed that for him. And so what I did also at the time was show you guys how to model a BD-5 also. This is that particular model that I showed you guys how to model. And his BD-5 that I modeled, uh, I designed and modeled for him. This is it here. I went ahead and cut everything up so I could uh, 3D print this on my smaller printer. And this is it here. I went ahead and printed all this out and gave it to him. And he's now working on this. It's a plug. And he's really good at doing um, airplanes and stuff, making them from uh, uh, making fiberglass planes and stuff like that. He's really good at it. This is that particular model here. And the thing is, like I said, I sliced this up or cut this up so I could uh, print this on my smaller printer that I was using at the time. Then another one of my friends caught wind of what I was doing and he asked, is it possible to make a 3D printed flyable model of this? And I said, yeah, it is. It's possible. But at the time I was thinking, well, I'd have to go back and put all these pieces back together to make one solid body here and then hollow everything out and stuff like that. And I said it probably would be faster just to design a new model of this. So I went ahead and designed a new model. And also um, this is 60 inches long, five feet long, which is a little big. So I designed one a little smaller, which is this one. I turned the uh, canopies back on here. And this is what I came up with. Smaller version. And it's already been cut up for 3D printing. So let me turn the canopies back off again so we have a look inside. Oops, wrong one, fuselage. As you can see, this is all open inside. And I don't remember how thick these walls are, but I would say they're between somewhere five and eight millimeters um, thick here. And I printed them, well, I believe it's either two or 3% infill. Sometimes three can be too heavy and two can be not enough. So I just, uh, I think I printed two or three, I don't remember at this time, but this is what it looks like. And I 3D printed this with uh, Polymaker's lightweight PLA. So let's go ahead and have a look at the actual 3D printed model. Here we have the BD-5. This is the 48 inch um, length fuselage. And we have the canopy here too. Let me get it, put it on here. Okay, and that's what it looks like. Oops, little vertical tip goes here too. On there. And this is what it looks like from the outside of this. It's a pretty good looking plane. Now, with this one, I... Um, Make, I'm going to make this uh, 3D printable and fly, uh, flyable. And what I need is a few testers for it. As soon as I finish up uh, modeling this in um, Fusion, and probably got about another hour to go just doing little um, tidbits and cleanup on it, 
I'm going to need some testers who are, um, you know, able to print in lightweight uh, PLA or any other lightweight material to test this, um, this jet for me. And I'll send you the Fusion files. It'd be nice if you can, um, if, if you know how to work in Fusion 360. And um, so if you need to make changes right away, you can go ahead and make changes to the, um, the model and go ahead um, from there. And if you don't know how to do that, then you can, um, you know, be able to contact me and then I'll make the changes in Fusion and we'll work from there. But yeah, I need about, um, I'm going to say probably about four testers. And the first four people that get to me saying they want to be testers and they know how to print in um, lightweight material and know a little about Fusion, how to, you know, um, uh, manipulate a few things and change some things in it, that'd be great. And um, the first four people who meet those criteria that contact me on my email, just um, on my um, site, just look at my email address and just send me an email saying you wanted to um, test this and I will send you the files for this. And like I said, um, I have maybe about an hour, uh, hours worth more work to put in the, on the, um, the files. I just have to make the holes um, in here for the, um, the rods that will go in here for the wing and the ailerons, I just need to, on the wings themselves, I just need to put the slots, the hinge slots in there, and also on the elevator. And I need to put the little um, slots in here for the magnets to hold the canopy down and a little hatch, or not a hatch, but a little hook up here to hold it down. But, um, and I don't know what size motor to put on this. Um, I'm shooting for it once this is all built up. I'm hoping this is roughly eight to nine pounds, but I'm not sure um, if it's going to be that or not. But um, even ten pounds would be um, would be um, good to go with ten pounds also. But I don't know what motor to um, size motor to put on here just yet. And if any of you guys have any suggestions, what size motor you think will work really well on this, please go ahead and leave them down in the comments or send me an email or go to my. Um, my Facebook group, Cadbill Fly RC, and put that there and let me know what motor you think um, will um, fly this this plane um, quite well with some authority. Um, I was thinking about putting the servos for the rudder and the elevator up here since the motor will be in the back here. So uh, maybe saving some weight. So I'm um, assuming that the batteries are gonna have to go up here far forward up here also. Um, so yeah, so just got to get the, um, just finish up the design on this and get to get it into people's hand to start so they can start testing it. And um, also, oh, I've got to put the, um, the little hatches uh, for the retractable landing gear also on this. And um, yeah, but it, it looks like it's going to be a fun jet, you know, um, well, it's going to be a prop. This is going to be a prop on this. Um, it's not going to be EDF or anything like that. But my friends who, have, um, who I originally made the first model of this and plug for, his is going to be a turbine, a turbine jet on his. And, um, and I believe he said he's going to put an 80 in it. And that should fly it quite well too. But yeah, so this here is looking pretty good. And also, the people that test this, any suggestions you have to make this better, um, that would be great too. While you're testing, please let me know. And whatever landing gears um, that you guys decide to use for this, please let me know so we can get all that incorporated into this and get this out to the in, in hands of people so they can um, get to flying this. And what else we've got here? Um, inside here... There's a hole that uh, that goes back through here. Hopefully the air comes in here through um, the scoops here and um, the, uh, the opening for the front landing gear and go through here. It will come through all through here and cool the motor down also in the back. And um, yeah, so that's why I put that hole in there too. That goes all the way up through there to try to cool that motor that's going to be on here. And this is going to have flaps also. So, um, but yeah, it's looking like a really good little plane so far for um, four, yeah, 48 inches, so this is four feet. And the wingspan, 
let's see, it's two meters, um, probably about um, 2.2 meters. Uh, it's going to be on this, and 2.2 meters, uh, that's somewhere out in 80, 80 inches. It has two meters, is, what is it, 78, 78 79 uh, inches. Yeah, so anyway, um, like I said, I'll be looking for about four, three or four testers for this. And as soon as I get this finished up, or even uh, before, if you have some CAT, um, if you know how to use CAT, just, just, and you want to be a tester, just hit me up with this, send me an email, and I can send you the files for this too. And if you want to do some um, experimenting on it, the um, things you want to do to it, go ahead and um, do that also. But I just need, you know, the let me know what you did to it. And, um, and um, so everybody else, we can get this thing into the hands of a lot of people after it's all, um, um, all the bugs and things have been worked out and everything. So, yeah. But anyway, that's going to do it for this particular model. And um, it's going to do it for this video, too. And once again, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And also, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. Also, um, just um, if you like what I'm doing, go ahead and comment down in the bottom too because I teach people how to um, model airplanes in um, Fusion and different other um, CAD programs too. And also, um, I invite you to join my Facebook group, which is called CAD Bill Fly RC, and my Patreon site also, which is called CAD Bill Fly RC. Go over there and have a look at uh, what I'm doing over there too. And um, yeah, so. That's going to do it for this video, and like I said, again, if you have any questions about this or anything I do on my um, site, just leave them down in the comments or send me an email, and we'll catch you in the next video, and have a great weekend. Subscribe for more.